Hey Terra Nova, if I haven't had a chance to personally meet you yet, my name is Oksana and I wanted to share a spiritual habit that is pretty ancient. It goes pretty far back into church history and at the same time it's something that is pretty simple and it's a combination of two elements that are really life-sustaining. The first is prayer and the second is breathing. And like I said, I think those two things are pretty essential to our survival. And this practice called breath prayer is something that can be used whether you have all the time in the world or whether you find yourself in a time right now where you are consistently surrounded with um, young children running around you at all times. I think the beauty of this practice is that while you can remove yourself and take that time if you're able to, you absolutely don't have to. And I know that in the time that we're in right now, the circumstances that we're facing um, have really changed things and added a lot of complicated dynamics um, to a lot of our lives. And so this is one of those practices that I really think we can use to engage um, wherever we're at. And the crazy thing is, even just breathing on its own is something that is really, really powerful. As we all know, breathing is something we do naturally, but the moments where we take an opportunity to intentionally connect with just the process of breathing and just filling our lungs with air and then releasing it, like actually praying with, praying, sorry, breathing, um, not just like up in our chest, but fully um, inhaling and exhaling, even that is really powerful. Um, and this practice of breath prayer allows us to kind of interrupt the craziness that might be going on in our own minds, in um, our thoughts, or even with our emotions right now. There's a variety of things that we may be experiencing, whether there's anxiety or fear or worry or even like good emotions mixed up in there. Breath prayer allows us to kind of stop ourselves in the spiral and take the opportunity to turn our attention to the Lord. Um, and so yeah, this practice again, if you have all the time in the world, you can use it for an intentional time of listening in silence or whether you are in an environment where you are not able to stop, you can actively engage in the process of breathing and praying. So it's really simple. The way to do it is you just choose a phrase that has two different parts. One you would pray as you inhale and the other half you would pray as you exhale. Typically the first part of your phrase is a, a way that you would address God. So you could use any phrase or any name for God that you would use as you're normally talking to God or you can see throughout scripture there are a variety of names that people use for God. Um, whether it's sustainer or comforter, provider, um, our hope, our peace, our security, the options are really endless. It's really up to you. And then the second part of the phrase could be something that you really need from the Lord at the moment or something that you would just really desire um, that God might reveal to you at the time. Again, there really is no wrong answers. It's up to you. Um, a really common one that I use is Christ have mercy. Um, that I've used that a lot these last few months as I feel like I just have no words for some of the things that are happening around us. So um, taking the opportunity to just even take just a few deep breaths even before I use the phrase, but just Christ have mercy. Um, it's a phrase that is so simple, but can have the ability again for me to interrupt a spiral of anxiety or anger within myself. And um, yeah, so that is a practice that I would love to invite you into, just choosing a simple phrase. And first part you would say as you inhale, and the second part you would just pray as you exhale. And you can repeat that as many times as you need to throughout your day, just as a reminder that we have access to God at all times and we don't have to be um, in this quiet room on our own for hours on end to experience God's comfort and God's presence with us. And so, um, yeah, I just want to remind you of that. Your breath is powerful and using um, that to connect to the Lord is also a really great opportunity. So I would just invite you to do that with me this week.